Iconic iOS developers, it's Prof G, and it's time to add an icon to your app. So now that you built your app, you're likely to want to add your own icon before installing it on a device. If you press play and run your app in the simulator, you might have noticed that if you press the home button, the icon that shows up is this generic test pattern. This is what shows up if you haven't added any icon data to your app. But adding an icon has never been easier. Just head to the assets catalog, click on app icon, and you'll see an outline space for an icon that's 1024 by 1024 points. That's the new default for Xcode 14. It used to be that you had to have a separate icon for each icon size, and you can still do that if you'd like. Just open the attribute inspector, and under iOS where it says single size, select all sizes. Now likely the only reason someone would want to do this is if they specifically needed to use different images at different sizes. Perhaps Xcode was distorting the icon when scaling it down to smaller sizes, but if that happens you might want to rethink the design of your icons. Most developers will want the single size icon, so I'll head back to that. Now I've prepared an icon that you're welcome to use. You can find it in the Google Drive for our series at bit.ly slash prof-g-swiftui-files all lowercase, just go into the URAwesome folder and you'll find it named URAwesome-icon. But to show you how I created this, it's really simple. I designed it in Keynote, which you can download for free from the App Store, and I drew the icon within a 1024 by 1024 rectangle. Now even though I set the size, and you can see it over here on the right, for some reason, when I highlight the icon and I copy it to the clipboard, it's actually larger than 1024 by 1024. But this is an easy fix in Preview. That's another utility that should have come pre-installed on your Mac. You can open Preview in Spotlight with Command Space, then just type the word Preview and press Return. I have my preview installed in the dock. Once you've launched preview, if you've copied your image to the clipboard, you can just press Command N and that'll create a new preview image from the clipboard. Now if I go to the Tools menu and select Adjust Size, I can see the size is not 1024 by 1024. And if I try to use an icon that's not that size, Xcode will display a warning, and at least in the current version of Xcode that I'm using as I record this tutorial, it will not resize to 1024 by 1024. But to fix this, just click off scale proportionally so that you can make sure that both sides are exactly 1024, and then enter 1024 by 1024 as your width and height. Make sure that you have pixels selected. I have resample image selected as well. Then click OK. The image resizes, and I'm going to save this to my desktop. I'll just give it the name You Are Awesome Icon. Then I'll quit preview, head over to the finder drag our new icon into Xcode. My assets catalog is open and app icon is selected, so I'm just gonna drop this into the 1024 by 1024 space. Then I'll press play to launch the app in the simulator. And when I press the home icon, I've noticed one quirk in the version of Xcode that I'm using. For some reason, the icon flashes on and then it goes away. Hopefully this isn't happening in your version of Xcode, but if it is, all I needed to do to fix this was to long press on the icon, then remove and delete the app from the simulator. There are a couple of choices here, but delete it completely. Then I relaunched the app in the simulator, and the next time I clicked on the home button, I had the proper icon installed on my app. So congratulations, your app now has an icon. In the next video, we'll change the app's display name and install it on an actual device. Keep hacking.